Hello everybody. Hey, what's up guys? Sorry, I'm a little bit late. How is everybody doing? This will probably be a quick live, guys. I just wanted to um share with you guys this new update. Um about Adam Montgomery. How many of you guys have been following that uh the Harmony Montgomery is do we have a lot of people here? Well, obviously the title. I'm sure <laughs> the people coming in are interested in the case. Who's all in here? Uh, let's see, Butterfly Angel, Libra, Bella, Soul, all the mods, man, Mod City up in here, <laughs> living curiously, hey, Diana, got Diana too, um, who else, Krista, okay, guys, so I have a couple videos to show, a couple articles to read, we'll discuss a little bit and call it a night, <laughs> how's everybody doing tonight, though, what it today is, what? Wednesday. Or how's everybody doing Wednesday? Hey, Lori. Hey, Tennessee. Me, I think every... Oh, wow, a lot of mods. Thank you guys for coming. Hey, Ashley. <clears throat> hey, KezChick56. Lucky duckies. How do you guys like my background? I kind of changed the colors of one of my old backgrounds. Kind of updated some of the, the other ones that I had. I was, I was debating between this one or... Hold on. There was one other one I couldn't make up my mind. I'll show you. I changed kind of the colors of this one too. Remember, this was like more brown. I kind of put some pretty colors in it, like some bright colors. What do you guys like better? That's not even green. And it's, that's like a yellow. Wow. They pick up any shade of green. Cause it's like a yellow and it's picking it up. It's kind of cool. It looks like I have like sparkling on my uh, hoodie. You like this one or the first one, guys? The, which one? This first one, my favorite. Which one? First one. Just let me know. I just and then what, just put first one or uh, second one, and then I'll look and see who has the most while I'm sharing my screen. One. So okay, we got a couple different. Ones. Hi Heather at Donahue. First one. First one. Okay, so hmm, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. We're gonna go. I think we're having more of the first one, guys. I gotta go with majority, right? <laughs> I'll do, but de we'll definitely be using this one again. I mean, um, yeah, you guys want to check out my merch? Have it in every color. Is Becky Rogers in the house? Because she is the winner of the one of my merch, one of my hoodies. So this potentially, if you like the blue one, we got pink, orange, green, dark. We have a darker pink, a lighter pink, a purple. We got a, the, some of the old, the the the, the, uh, the first design, a purple one. We got the. A, uh, Zeke and Justice, which those ones aren't even available anymore. Um, all right, let me go back to the other one, and I'll definitely use this this one again. But I'm going to go with what a lot of people were saying they liked this one better, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so um, yeah, let's. Are you really this nice in real life, Rick? No, I'm a jerk in real life. <laughs> Isn't am I not in real life? I don't know. No, I'm just joking. I don't know, Rick. I hope. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, because I am. I'm, this is how I am in real life. I feel like. I don't feel like I'm anybody. I don't feel like I'm different. Like any different in real life. But I guess you have to meet me sometime to find out. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So let me get some room. I got a mess over here, guys. Oh my God, I need to clean my desk. Okay. Let me get my screen shared. Obsessed. I'm Ashley, you're obsessed. All right. Um, yeah, we need to find her. So Harmony Montgomery, we have not, they haven't found her yet, right? And this new stuff that came out. So Adam Montgomery is a suspect in another murder. Which is so crazy that somehow he got custody of Harmony when he's a freaking criminal. Not only did he have the other charge where he shot somebody, remember? I did a video on that. He shot somebody. So it was like attempted murder or whatever the charges were. There's a but like six felonies or something. So he, he supposedly said, and this is a whole different, okay, there's two different things. The first one is the one where there's no murder. He just shot somebody. This new one that we're going to talk about today, he killed somebody or he's a suspect in a murder. I can't say it was him, but he's a suspect. So remember the first one is he supposedly said he was being robbed and 
but it was his gun, I guess. And two people, he got shot in the arm and the other guy got shot like in the chin or whatever. Um, but the other people kind of have a different story, you know, the other side. So it's like, who do you believe, you know, but this one, I'm going to play you the video first and then I'll read the article of, uh, what's going on now that just came out today, actually. Hold on. Let me get the video. Crazy, crazy guys. Right here, Schumer. Oh, here it is. Okay, let me play this and then we'll get a little bit more on article. Tonight, Boston 25 has exclusive new information about the father of Harmony Montgomery. She's the missing New Hampshire seven-year-old we've been telling you about who has not been seen in two years. Tonight, Boston 25's Bob Board has learned Adam Montgomery is the main suspect in an unsolved murder in Massachusetts. Bob is live in Lynn tonight, where police shared this information with him in just the last few hours. And Bob, you are breaking this story. Uh, Vanessa, this murder goes back to 2008, and I'm told authorities have been looking at Adam Montgomery, along with two members of his family, almost since day one. The victim here was 28 years old. He was gunned down in the parking lot of a convenience store here in Lynn in cold blood. 31-year-old Adam Montgomery right now is sitting in a New Hampshire jail, held without bail, charged with physically abusing his missing daughter, Harmony, in 2019. Adam had legal custody of Harmony, and no one has seen her in two years. According to a police affidavit, Adam Montgomery is refusing to tell investigators anything about Harmony's whereabouts. But now, Boston 25 News has learned Adam Montgomery has more legal troubles on the horizon. According to a knowledgeable law enforcement source, Adam Montgomery is a suspect in an unsolved first-degree murder case in Lynn. On February 10, 2008, just before 11 p.m., police found 28-year-old Darlin Guzman fatally shot in the parking lot of what was then a White Hen convenience store in Lynn's Austin Square. Guzman was shot in the chest. First responders transported Guzman to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. At the time of the murder, Lynn police said their suspect was a light-skinned man in his 20s wearing a red hooded sweatshirt and that he got away in a red Honda Accord on Boston Street towards Saugus. According to my law enforcement source, Adam Montgomery, along with two members of his family, have been the focus of this murder investigation since 2008. I'm told the investigation revealed that Adam and his two family members interacted with Guzman earlier that day and they agreed to meet up at the White Hen in Lynn with Guzman. The result of that meeting was deadly gunfire. Guzman's car was recovered days later in a cul-de-sac in Bill Ricca, which is in the direction of Bedford, New Hampshire, where Adam was living with his family at the time. Adam Montgomery was 18 years old at the time of Guzman's murder. He was already facing various criminal charges in New Hampshire, and he was free on bail. To date, neither Adam Montgomery nor anyone else has been charged with Guzman's murder, and I'm told he remains a focus of this open and very active investigation. Now, the Manchester, New Hampshire Police Department is aware that Adam Montgomery is a suspect in this homicide in Lynn, Massachusetts. Here in Massachusetts, I contacted the Essex County DA's office. They would not comment on any suspects in an open investigation. My law enforcement source assures me that Adam Montgomery is the guy they're looking at for this very open and active case. Guys? Wow, this is really concerning. Court records that our team obtained also show Adam Montgomery faced some really serious charges over the years, but he never spent a lot of time behind bars. No, and uh, this case could have some serious ramifications. As you know, Vanessa, uh, there is no statute of limitations on murder. Now, he has not been charged in this case, but that could change at any time. And if he's convicted, if he's charged and convicted, that's a life no parole sentence. Of course, authorities really want to know what happened to Harmony, and they're hoping that something might change his mind and he might start talking about her whereabouts. Maybe um, if he knows that uh, he's being looked at for this homicide, maybe that might change things. Absolutely. And all of us here at Boston 25 and all of our viewers who are closely following this case are hoping that he will talk sooner than later. Bob Ward reporting live for us tonight. Bob Okay, so yeah, Lori. No, I know we were talking about that other. Weren't you talking about the other case 
um, where he shot the guy in the chin. This is a different one. So not only, you know, did he kill this this guy, and then also he shot that other guy that supposedly was ro- they were robbing him, but he brought the gun. It was his gun. Who knows really what happened? But so he's got. I mean, he's freaking got a lot of criminal charges. I don't. I'm I'm so confused how he got custody. But we are going to read a, a couple interesting things about that. And I want to say, hi, where did crime, is Crime Dive Investigates? Are you still here? Where are you at here? There you go. There you go. There you go. Everybody, tomorrow, don't miss the live tomorrow. We will uh, be having them on, talking about Delphi. So it'll be interesting. Um, hey, Newfie girl. Kez Chick, thank you for joining. Welcome to the family. Got some members things coming up, so it, that'll be good. Um, okay. Hey, Crochet and Bammy. All right, so let me bring this article up and... Okay. Well, we're going to go over some, Heather, but yeah. Um, okay, let me bring up which one. We'll do this one. Probably most of this stuff is kind of just... Uh, it's probably a more in-depth uh, fit. That we just watched the video, so it's probably going to say a lot of the same things. But usually there's maybe one or two things new. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we have to say. The father of a missing New Hampshire child is a suspect in an unsolved murder, according to a law enforcement. Adam is held without bail in New Hampshire, charged with physically abusing Harmony in 2019. Adam had legal custody of Harmony and no one has seen her in two years. He's refusing to tell investigators anything about Harmony's whereabouts. And then they learn, well, Boston 25 has learned that Adam has even more legal trouble on the horizon. Adam is a suspect in the murder of Darlin Guzman in Lynn in 2008. February 10th, 2008, just before 11, police found 28-year-old Darling Guzman fatally shot in the parking lot of the former White Hen convenience store in Lynn's Austin Square. He was shot in the chest. They re- The first responders transported him to the nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. At the time of the murder, Lynn police described the suspect as a light-skinned man in his 20s, about six feet tall, wearing a red hooded sweatshirt. He drove away in the red Honda. Uh, let's see. It's kind of the same stuff. Sorry. So according to my law enforcement source, Adam, along with two members of his family, have been the focus of this murder investigation since day one. So it's like they can't say that, oh, they just found this out. I mean, he's I'm told the investigation revealed that Adam and two members of his family interacted with the Guzman earlier that day. And then they agreed to meet up at the White Hen in Lynn. Guzman's car was recovered days later in a cul-de-sac. Okay, so let's see. Adam was living with his family at the time. He was 18 years old at the time of the Guzman murder. He was already facing various criminal charges in New Hampshire and was free on bail. Okay, let's see. So yeah, Adam nor anyone else has been charged with Guzman's murder, but I am told Adam remains a focus of this open and very active investigation. So yeah, basically just the same stuff that the um, the video said, but let's go to... Should I do that first? I have one more video to play and then a couple other things to read here. Um, all right, let me play this video first. Wait, well, you know what? Let me do, let me read. Actually, I actually have two articles. Which one? They're probably going to say close to the same thing. You guys pick Boston Herald or... CBS Boston. They basically are about the same thing. Which one should I read? <laughs> Which one do you think is? I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. Hold on, because I mean, I'm I'm sure I don't need to read both of them. They're probably gonna say a lot of the same things. Let's let's me read the re- most recent one. Which one is the most recent? Hold on. January eighteenth, and one is January eight. Oh, they're both. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> um, Boston Herald, Boston Herald. Okay, Boston Herald. Is that is that what we wrote on? Okay, most people are saying Herald. Okay, so let's do the Herald. All right. Uh, 
Oh, a monster New Hampshire government Sununu, wait, Sun Sununu or something. I don't know. Sununu asks why Massachusetts judge placed Harmony Montgomery with criminal dad. Okay. So New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. I'm trying to think if that if you yeah, that would be how you say it, right? So you know, <laughs> harshly criticized a Massachusetts court on Tuesday for placing Harmony Montgomery missing since 2019 at age five with her father and stepmother before the state could complete a study of their home. So Nunu, in a letter to the Chief Justice of Massachusetts highest court, described the father, Adam Montgomery, as a monster. Hold on, let me try to make this a little bit bigger in case you guys want to try to read. There we go. Okay. Okay, so they described him as a monster. Adam has a criminal record that goes back to at least 20, 2007 in both states. In Massachusetts, he was previously convicted of shooting someone in the head and, it, and a separate armed attack on two women. Wait, I didn't... On What attack was that? See, I didn't, wasn't even aware of that. Does anybody know in the comments? Let me know. Heather, do you know? Because you see... You, it looks like you know a lot about some of the details. Let me know, and if there's somewhere I could... Figure, uh, find some information on that. He attacked two women. Okay. Doesn't surprise me, but I just haven't heard about that. So Sununu asked why the Massachusetts court courts went ahead and placed Harmony Montgomery with him. The governor said that at the time the court ruled, New Hampshire Child Protection Agency had asked Massachusetts for additional information to complete the home study and would have likely found the father unfit. It is unclear why the Massachusetts courts moved so quickly with this permanent placement prior to the completion of the home study. Why would the Massachusetts court choose to place custody of Harmony with this horrible individual? What caused such a fateful decision? Sununu wrote. Let me see if anybody's let me see if anybody's responding on on what I asked so I don't miss it. Kayla and her mom, I believe. Oh, really? His wife? Are you is that an answer to me, Heather? Uh, what I asked, Heather? Huh. Oh, okay. So Nuno is requesting the court review the decision and all events leading to the judge's ruling. No child should ever leave Massachusetts in the custody of a dangerous criminal like Adam Montgomery, so Nuno wrote. We must ensure that moving forward, at-risk children of our states are protected and adequately monitored. Massachusetts court system spokesperson Jennifer Donahue said Bud received a letter from Sununu this afternoon and that the Massachusetts Office of the Child Advocate has opened an investigation into this tragic situation. The Massachusetts trial court, she added, was cooperating fully with that investigation. Okay. Harmony Montgomery was last seen at a Manchester home in October 2019 when she was five. Manchester police were notified last December that the child had not been seen in two years. Since then, police have searched the house where she was last seen. Harmony Montgomery's father and stepmother have been arrested on charges related to her well-being. Adam Montgomery was arrested on a second-degree assault charge earlier this month, as well as charges of interfering with custody and child endangerment. Police accused him of purposely violating a duty of care, protection, or support by failing to know where the girl has been since late 2019, the last reported sighting. Adam Montgomery, 31, had not, had not guilty pleas entered on his behalf by his lawyer. He has been jailed without bail. Prosecutors dropped a welfare fraud charge last week against Harmony Montgomery's stepmother, Kayla Montgomery, for collecting food stamps in the child's name. The charge was replaced with three other charges, including theft. Including theft. Uh, Kayla Montgomery was charged on a suspicious of obtaining 1,500 in food stamps from December 2019 to June 2021 for Harmony Montgomery. Even though the girl was not living with the couple, she pleaded not guilty. Police have received hundreds of tips in the case, and the reward fund has grown to, okay, so it's grown to 137000 Anyone with information can call the 24-hour tip line at 603-203-6060. Um, I should put that up. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put it up across so I were... 
actually, you know what? I'll, I'll play the video while I'm getting that put up. Okay, that's what I'll do. And then I have this letter to read from the... Um, who wrote it again? The governor? The mayor? Oh, I forget. Hold on, let me see. Where does it say? Hold on one second. The governor of New Hampshire. Okay, so... One second... I think it's this one. It should be. Okay. Of a missing New Hampshire girl. The governor of New Hampshire is now demanding oh, answers so to the disappearance of Harmony Montgomery and her custody before she disappeared. We've been covering this story now for seven weeks. The little girl was last seen two years ago. Wait, is that too low where you guys can't hear it? Because I could just throw it in my editor real quick and turn up the volume. And then so we I could do something else while it's doing. Hold on one second. Because that's really low. Can you guys even hear it? Hold on a second. Just give me one minute. Just give me one minute and I'm going to get this banner up and I'll get that up higher so we could actually hear. Because I was even having trouble hearing it. And and a lot of times it's even harder for you guys, you know. So. Let me create a banner. One second. Here. Oh, wait, that's the same. Oh, no, that's the right one. One second. Okay, export. Okay. All right, should take it. Okay, export. It's gonna be done by the time I go right over here because it's such. It's only like a minute, but. All right. Close. All right. Let's do this over now. Now you'll be able to hear it. Should be able to hear a lot better. There it is. All right. Is ready. The case of a missing New Hampshire oh, there we go. girl. The governor of New Hampshire is now demanding answers in the disappearance of Harmony Montgomery and her custody before she disappeared. We've been covering this story now for seven weeks. The little girl was last seen two years ago. WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiandaka is in studio with the new development. Cheryl. Well, Lisa Paula, New Hampshire's Governor Chris Nuno blasted the Massachusetts Child Protection Agency, DCF, and the judge who turned the seven-year-old over to her father, who police believe could be involved in her disappearance. 
Harmony Montgomery hasn't been seen since 2019 after a Massachusetts court gave custody of the seven-year-old to her father, Adam, who's now charged with assaulting Harmony and child endangerment. Harmony's stepmother also facing charges that she collected welfare for her while she was not living in the home. Investigators recently searched the Manchester, New Hampshire house where Harmony was staying with her father and stepmother. Police say they still believe she's alive. In a letter to the Massachusetts top judge, Sununu questioned the decisions that were made, writing, what makes this case exceptionally unusual is that not only did a Massachusetts judge move to place this child with such a monster as Adam Montgomery, but it did so without a home study to be completed. This home study likely would have proven that Adam Montgomery was unfit. DCF and the trial court tell us it is cooperating with police and New Hampshire officials. The Office of the Child Advocate is also reviewing. Okay, so I'm going to read the letter that the governor wrote, okay? Wait, let me, okay. Thank you, Bella, for sending it. And Stacy, thank you. Stacy, we got a local, well, <laughs> I screwed up. You know what I'm talking about. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I don't think, okay. But okay, let's read let's read this letter real quick, guys. Okay. Now let me share the screen. I don't know. I mean they that's what they said though. They they're hoping and they're they're going they're didn't they say that they believe that she might she still is alive? I mean, what if he did sell her? I'm not sure. Okay, soul thanks. Oh my god, I did that one other time to somebody else too. To the mod, I, I feel bad because I'm so used to calling you guys, but yeah, um, thank you, thank you, Bella, thank you, soul. Let's get this letter writ ro read, road read. <laughs> oh my god, I am already delirious. What is going on? <laughs> and I just started, um. Yay, Amanda. Amanda, I'm glad you did too. Um, <laughs> let me make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so you guys, wait, what did that say? It's Karen's. Oh, hey, Karen. Okay, cool. Yay, I'm glad. And it's nice to see you. Catch Chick 56 um previously known as karen 56 or is that how you would say it um all righty hey dragonfly did you get your uh tumblr yet i know but you're gonna probably be getting it somewhat soon right you have to send me a picture when you get it is becky rogers here Guys, remember last night when we were trying to send the energy to Becky Roger because she won the um, giveaway? Well, guess what? She was in the comments like soon after. Go read her comment. It says something like, oh, I just, I'm sorry I missed it. Thought I'd set, uh, stop by and send you like love and prayers or whatever. <laughs> How crazy. Like it worked. The energy worked. It just took a little long. I mean, it took a little longer than just like instant. But she came and I I uh, responded like kind of what happened, how we were <laughs> trying to get her to come in. And I don't think she responded yet, but is she, I don't think she's here though, huh? Isn't that crazy though? I mean, it worked guys, your energy worked. It brought her there. She probably didn't know why, but she was there. So she just missed the live by not that long though. It was like shortly after the live ended, I, she was in the comments, so. You guys remember what I'm talking about, right? She was the winner of the giveaway, and we were, like, trying to send her energy to make her come. So, I don't know. <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Let me read this. Yeah. It is, Bella. We, ha we got some power, guys. Hey, Linda. I wish she was here now. You guys, send the energy again and see if we can get her in here. 
Becky Rogers, I want to see what hoodie she wants. I really want to talk to her. I don't think she even saw my comment yet, but I hope she sees it and she comes in. Okay. All righty. Let's read this later, guys. Thanks, Derpstein. Thank you. Yes, Pink Delilah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Where's that letter? Where's that letter? Here it is. Becky, Becky, thank you, soul. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. <laughs> you don't believe that she's alive? It's hard to have hope when you, like, just... It is. It really is, but... Especially when so much time has passed, you know, now it's been over two years, but we just started looking for her. What, you know, a couple of weeks ago, they were just started to be aware that she was gone. So what if she was sold? Nobody even knew she was missing or said anything. And now that they're looking, maybe I know it's hard to have hope, but I mean, I always hold, I always have I, a little bit of hope every time. Like, and I'm always like disappointed when it's like, no, when it. We get bad news, but okay. You guys ready? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I keep waiting to see. I keep thinking Becky's gonna be a comment. Let me know. Well, how are you guys going to let me know if she comes while I'm reading it? I just don't want to miss it. Okay, cool, Dragonfly. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Becky Rogers, come on down. You're the next contestant. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh. Okay, let's do this. Chief Justice Bud, I write you. I write to you today with grave concerns surrounding the ongoing investigation into the disappearance of Harmony Montgomery. It is everyone's first priority to bring her home safe. And in the furtherance of that mission, I have made a commitment to leave no stone unturned so that we may learn as much as we can about her previous situation and possible whereabouts. New Hampshire undertakes a critical incident review of all extreme cases involving a child. Harmony Montgomery's case rises to such a level and at my direction, I have ordered the Division of Children, Youth, and Families to accelerate the process and begin the review of Harmony's case while it is ongoing. We are doing this in the hopes we might discover important information on Harmony's case. As that review proceeds, new questions are emerging regarding decisions within your court system that have had pro a profoundly negative impact on Harmony's well-being. Harmony's father, Adam Montgomery, is a monstrous drug dealer with previous convictions, including shooting someone in the head and a separate armed attack on two women in Massachusetts. This family was troubled transient and originally engaged with the Massachusetts child protection system. Only as an unfortunate result of Harmony's disappearance has New Hampshire come to learn the full extent of the family's background and the type of upbringing Harmony faced prior to arriving in New Hampshire. In fact, in December 2018, the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families requested that New Hampshire DCYF conduct a home study of Adam Montgomery and his then wife, Kayla Montgomery. Uh, New Hampshire's DCYF Interstate Compact for the Placement of Children Unit responded to MADCF stating that in order to conduct the home study, additional information was needed regarding Adam Montgomery and his wife's progress and their engagement of services with MADCF. This is a standard request in such cross-border cases. But while DCYF was waiting for the necessary information, a court in Lawrence, Massachusetts, abruptly gave sole custody of Harmony to her father in February 2019. It is unclear why the Massachusetts court moved so quickly with the permanent placement prior to the completion of the home study. 
Why would the Massachusetts court choose to place custody of Harmony with this horrible individual? What caused such a fateful decision? What makes this case exceptionally unusual is that not only did Massachusetts judge move to place this child with such a monster as Adam Montgomery, but it did so without an interstate compact for the placement of children. Home study to be completed. This home study likely would have proven that Adam Montgomery was unfit. As a result of your judge's decision, New Hampshire officials were not afforded the ability to monitor harmony safety. Had the court required that an interstate compact HUD home study be completed, there would have been more checks in the system to help ensure harmony's safety when she was moved to New Hampshire, such as continued oversight on the family. More critically, had New Hampshire had this in place when responding and investigating the alleged incident of abuse in December 2019, the result would likely have been very different for Harmony. Why did your court not ensure an ICPC home study was completed prior to the custody transfer? It would be extremely useful to be able to review the judge's determination and all events leading up to that decision. And as such, I am formally requesting your cooperation in reviewing the determination of your judge and all events and evidence leading up to his decision and making that review public to assist in bringing Harmony Montgomery home safely. No child should ever leave Massachusetts in the custody of a dangerous criminal like Adam Montgomery. As neighboring states, we owe it to our residents, especially our vulnerable children, that we are working together to protect the best interests of our most vulnerable citizens. We must ensure that moving forward at risk Wait, we must ensure that moving forward, at-risk children of our states are protected and adequately monitored. Locating Harmony remains our top priority. New Hampshire is undergoing an aggressive review of our system, but it is imperative to have all of the information on this case to determine where the system failed and help ensure we take quick action in the hopes that it never happens again. You owe it to Harmony Montgomery, her loved ones, and the public to fully cooperate in handing over the imperative information on this case that could help provide answers and assist with our search. We hope you can agree time, wait, we hope you can agree time is, the es uh, is of the essence and give this matter the urgency that is required. I look forward to your response. Sincerely, Christopher Sununu. So I don't know. Yeah, I think they really screwed up and now somebody's life uh, had to um, suffer, you know? And even if, let's say she is alive still, imagine how much she had to go through. Like, it's just, it's so sad. So what do you guys think? I don't look like my usual self. Wait, what do you mean, Heather? Love my Charlie face. Hey, love my Charlie face. It's just, uh, whole brains in the house. <laughs> What's up, girl? Um, so any, any final, um, Sorry, I'm trying to get through the, not get through, I'm trying to see all the comments that I just missed. Um, I'm on interventionist on the streets here. I'm an interventionist. Oh, okay. I know, it's it traumatized. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, this. they freaking let her down on this. He, She should never have been with him. I'm sorry. It's just, it makes me mad. Because this could have been so preventable. Like, why? You know? You're in New Hampshire, leveled up mountain in Saudi air. Okay. Yeah. Hey, date set. Wait, that, that set 1031. Hello. Nice to see you. Oh, you live on the Massachusetts border. Okay. New Hampshire border. Hey, Tennessee. Did I say hi to you already? So. That's that, guys. I still want to do the video where I go through some of the interesting Facebook posts, but I kind of, I kind of want to do that separate. So if I do end up doing a live about it, I'm going to kind of do it separate. So it's two different things, um, you know. Uh, and I'm, I think I am going to do a pre-recorded regardless on that. Just all the 
things I've collected in the last week of just interesting Facebook posts about this case. Like I found, like, uh, for instance, like Jameson's biological father. I kind of dug into like his Facebook pages and then, um, uh, what's her name? Crystal Harmony's mother's boyfriend. I think they're broke up now, but who she was kind of with re just as this was going on and some of his posts and stuff. So there's just some interesting things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this one and possibly, um, I don't know. Just be looking for that. I'm not sure how it's going to go yet, but, um, it's, it is interesting. So yeah, I just be looking for pre-recorded or alive. Um, and watched. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what else to add to this. It just makes me mad. I mean, they they just failed. They definitely failed this poor little girl. And um, I don't know, Bella. What do you think? Should we? Do you want to do Darley tonight? I'm trying to figure out how to get, make this game plan. Or is it too late now? I mean, we don't have. We could do it tomorrow after my other live. I don't. What do you think? Because me and um. Bella, we're going to do, uh, finish up, um, the Darley, we have, uh, oh my God, I can't even talk. The punishment phase testimonies of people, we were going to read a little bit more transcripts to kind of like finish up the whole Darley transcripts reading. Um, we were going to do it tonight and then these, these updates came out. So I wanted to do this first. Um, but so I, I don't know. I know. Yeah. She does. She's like the star of the reading of, uh, <laughs> of the transcript. She does a great job with her, <laughs> her, um, accents and just her like getting into character. So I don't know. I'll have to see what she says. Um, either, either if we don't do it tonight, we're going to either do it tomorrow after my live with Matt and Katie or, um, the next day we're going to be doing it like in the next couple days right bella i don't know let me know bella i mean it's up to you we don't have to if not i'll work on my facebook uh post video so just either or whatever you want i just thought because i'm done with this one so it's only it's only still only a half hour later because we were going to do it at 10 so it's only really a half hour later than we were going to originally do it um but you if you don't have to because i know you you get prepared and you're already thinking you're not going to do it so if you're not in that mindset that's totally fine i just thought i'd throw it out there um so i don't know you guys i'm going to end this but just be looking out who knows what ha will happen um you might see me pop up with that you might see me pop up with the facebook live who knows but tomorrow for sure though um <laughs> ashley i know you are you are true, true, um, trying to think of the, the, a good word for you. True. I don't know. I'll think of it. <laughs> oh, faking. Yay. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> tomorrow it's going to be live. Tomorrow is going to be, um, eight o'clock with the Matt and Katie at the crime dive investigates. We're going to do eight talk about Delphi. So don't miss it. And then I don't know, I got to discuss it with Bella when we're going to do the Darley, but that'll be coming up too. So wait, what is, and then I'm not sure about the, uh, the Facebook thing. I th I'm for sure going to do an upload on that pre-recorded, but I'll probably maybe do a live too. I'm not sure when I'll do that. I don't know, guys. Just be looking at you. Um, but thanks for for coming and chatting and um. Oh, Ashley. Kibby in the house. Oh yeah, Kibby. It's it was just kind of a quick little update of Adam. So not only remember I did that video and you guys probably heard where he was uh charged with that shooting where he shot that guy in the chin or whatever but now he's linked he's a suspect in an actual murder case from 2008 where the person died he was the person was shot in the chest and died and he's like one of the main suspects for it 
But the whole thing is, is what doesn't make sense is how did somebody like that with that kind of a record, how did he get custody of Harmony? Like, I, it just doesn't seem fair, you know. Derp scene. I have to. I have to. This was only planned on do, being a quick update. I was just going to do a pre recorded. Um, but then I was like, yeah, I'll just hurry up and jump on. Because I I, the reason I don't want to drag this one out is because a lot of people, like I said, they don't, they see a really long live. And at least people that, some of the people that just want to get the facts, they won't click on it. But, you know, I'm still going to be doing the long lives for you guys that like, you know, the long ones. But for this one, I was just kind of wanting to do like real simple and, Real quick to the point type live. So, um, no, go. I don't know, whole brains. Yeah. I'm gonna have to tell, I'm gonna have to, I'll email her. Oh, hey, Dizzy. Love you, Zab Bella, and everyone here. Oh, Zab Munity. I like that. Zab Munity. Is Mark Klein here? Oh, yeah, Mark. Oh, thanks, Faye. Oh, Island Girl. Oh, you guys are too sweet. Yeah. All right, y'all. I will talk to you uh, very soon. For sure tomorrow. Maybe tonight. But for sure tomorrow we will see each other again. <laughs> and it'll be good. Come, yeah. Stop out. I might. Like I said. I might make it just a members chat. I know. Like I hope. People, I hope I don't upset people. But like I said. It's a perk that I rarely use. And the people that are. You know. Members there. I have to. You know. Use the perks. That, that You know. I have to give them. Some of them, and I only used it, I think, two or three times. I've used it for, like, Cheryl and Kate or, like, some of the guests. So I feel like for, like, special guests, it's a good time to use it. So basically, anybody could watch it, but you'll have to be a member to chat in the live stream tomorrow if I use it. for Just for the um, the uh, Crime Dive Investigates. Just for that one. If, we, if I do another one, it'll be everybody. But, so. Oh, hey, Linda. Hey, Scout. I don't know. I might end up feeling bad and not doing it. But then it's just it's not fair to the members because it's a perk that they don't ever get then if I don't use it. And the only reason I'm making a big deal about it is because every time I've used it, I've had people complaining. <laughs> people comment like, you're just trying to make money and just like complaining. Like, I can't believe you're, you're, you're doing that. And I'm trying to explain. It's like... <laughs> I feel so horrible every time I do it, but then I, I feel bad when I don't do it because like the members, that should be a perk that they get once in a while. And, you know, I can't just not ever give it to them because I feel so bad because all the people that can't chat, you know, it's just once in a while, like I said, I think this might be my third time I've ever used it or third or fourth. And I've had the members for like over a year, I think. Yeah, a year and a half, I think. So it's not bad, guys. So just psh and yeah, if I go live twice anyway, then the second one will be okay. So, um, and I know, and I understand the people that can't like, you know, I do, I understand like, it's a tough time for everybody and I, you know, but I, you know, I, right. I don't, um, look at anybody any different, whether you can or can't, you know, it's just something that it is one of the perks. So I have to at least use it once in a while. So. Uh, no pro. Oh, thanks, Margarita. All right, thanks, Scout. Thanks, mods. You guys are rocking, rocking, rocking. We had a mo a full mod, a full mod chat today. Thank you guys for showing up. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you s tomorrow probably. We'll see for sure tomorrow. Bye, guys.